All right, welcome again. Let's always find that comfortable seated position. Always start in class with that little bit of meditation or just breath work. Remember, when we sit, the most important thing is comfort. So if you want to sit on a blanket or a block or you know anything that you have laying around your home, let's take a moment to check in, okay? A lot of the times we'll lean forward. Let's engage our core to lift through the crown of the head. So it stacks the body over the hips, relaxing the face. Resting the eyes, hands are in the center, palms up or down on the knees, same thing. Whatever feels most comfortable, let the shoulders hang down, turn the focus inward for a few breaths. Remember, sometimes focusing on the breath may not be the best thing that we need in this moment, so then we just let go and breathe. Let the thoughts pass by. We're just trying to extend that space between them. So if we are focusing in on the breath, we love to inhale through the nose, filling the upper lungs, the lower lungs, and the belly. Really let it soften and expand fully. Nice, big breath. As we exhale, the navel draws towards the spine. Big exhale through the nose or mouth. We're just going to take a moment. We're extending that breath. We're letting go of wherever we were before class or before our practice and just being here now, knowing we've carve this time out for ourselves today so we can enjoy every moment. Maybe you let a smile wash over to carry throughout your practice. If you'd like, you can just sit and hold, or if you'd like to start warming up your neck, we can start by drawing the chin towards the chest and the ear to the shoulder, and then back to center and across to the other side. Now we can continue with half circles, side to side, or tracing a circle with our nose, small movements, one direction and the other. Whatever feels good. Yoga is such a personal practice. I'm here to guide you, but I really want you to listen to your own voice and your own body. Opening up in the way that feels best for you. A few more breaths here. And then we'll come back down, chin to chest. Let those shoulders hang down a little bit more. And then come back up into that neutral position. Gently opening the eyes. Lift those arms up overhead. Let's just reach through that center body. And then let them float down. Very nice. We'll do two more. We really want to lengthen through the ribs. All the way up through the fingertips. And then float down. One more, lifting up and float down. All right, let's open up those shoulders just a little bit. Remember, if anything hurts, we'll always stop. Left arm underneath, bend at the elbows, forearms come down. All right, we can stay here. You can complete that twist if you'd like. We're just bringing those shoulder blades open, okay? So we can always come into a hugging position if that feels better, all right? We can just wrap the body. This might feel really good, just reaching those fingertips around. If the arms are up, we're gonna lift those fingers towards the sky and press the shoulders down. It's really personal preference. Listen to your body and what feels good for you today or even just in this moment. Maybe it's switching from one thing to the other. Let's lift the fingers up just a little bit more and then unwrap the arms. Reach those fingertips out in front, out to the side, and then all the way behind you. Fingertips point back, squeeze the shoulder blades together and drop the chin towards the chest. Two more breaths. Really work on opening up that chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together and dropping that chin a little bit more. And then release. Roll the shoulders, let them find neutral. And we'll do the other side. So this time, lift the arms up. Right arm comes underneath. Elbows bend and arms lift up. Again, you can complete that twist with the palms coming together if that feels good. 
Or again, if you'd like, we release the arms and we just reach the arms around, reaching for the back. Both feel great, both open the body, but it's personal preference. If the arms are up, fingertips and elbows go up and shoulders press down. Remember, we're sitting up nice and tall, lifting through the crown of the head. Deep belly breath. Lifting up just a little bit higher one more time and then release. Reach those arms out again, all the way behind you, and then drop the chin towards the chest. Try to keep those shoulders down as we squeeze the shoulder blades together. And release. Back to center, roll those shoulders. We're gonna inhale and lift up, lengthen through that spine, and then float them down. Let's find a side body stretch. So right hand ground, left arm overhead. Bend into that elbow, let the elbow come close to the body. Remember that left arm's extended nice and long. We wanna avoid that kink in the elbow. Reach through the fingers, feel the stretch down the ribs all the way to your hips. Head can remain neutral. We can look down towards the earth or up towards the sky. It's going to be whatever feels best for your body. Two more breaths here, lengthening just a little bit more. And then come up to center on an inhale. Exhale, left arm grounds, right arm extends overhead. Really bend into that elbow, find that length through the right arm, palm facing down. Again, head neutral, looking down or twisting open towards the sky. Remember, every day is different. If we feel any tension in the neck, we immediately want to drop that head down and just relax. One more nice deep breath, bending in, reaching a little bit more. And then inhale, both arms up. Reach, 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 and then float them down. Nice. Now that we got that upper body warmed up, let's stretch out the legs for a moment. Take that blanket to the side. Let's just stretch out the legs. Get them warmed up, right? We're gonna move the thighs to the side, just tapping or curling and pointing the toes or shaking them side to side or bending them, okay? I just want you to shake them out for a moment. Get them moving, okay? Remember, sitting for about 10 minutes can be a lot on our bodies, okay? We don't do that very often. So we want to relax the legs now. All right, we want to get those glutes and core involved today. So let's turn and get onto our hands and knees right away, okay? So if you want that extra padding, take a blanket, unroll it, get it under your knees. This is really nice for our joints here, right? Remember, hips and knees are in alignment, wrists and shoulders. Now, if the wrists ever start to hurt and you have a few options, you can come onto your fists, okay? We can also come onto our forearms, all right? Whatever is going to feel good, we're going to warm up our spines first. You can also use blocks and put your forearms on the blocks. That's another really great option here, okay? Hands are on the mat. Fingers spread nice and wide. So important. We want to open these joints. We want to try to make sure that every inch of our palm is pressing into the mat. Now, every time we're in this tabletop position, we want to engage the core here. We want to feel nice and strong. Head is neutral. Now from here, we're going to do that cat and cow that we all know and love. We're going to tilt the hips up, relax the spine as we inhale and look up. Exhale, chin to chest, navel to spine, hunching and rounding the back. Stretching out those shoulders one more time. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now you can continue with this for a few more breaths. If you'd like, you can do what is called wagging your tail by tilting your hips from side to side, feeling a stretch along the side body. Or if you'd like, bring the hips towards the heels, big circle with the whole body, one direction and then the other. 
I really invite you to move in a way that feels best for your body. It's so important to do what it craves. If we just take a moment and listen, we'll figure out what we need. But listening is the key. And it gets lost with all the thoughts that we have. So just take a moment. What feels good right now? Maybe it's switching from one thing to another. Two more breaths. And then we'll come back to tabletop. All right. Making sure we have that nice, solid position. Working on those glutes a little bit. And the core, we're going to engage our core really nice and tight here. Curl back the right toes. We're going to kick that heel towards the sky. Lift it up. And we're going to come back to center. So we're going to move nice and slow. We're going to kick it up nice and then back. So you're going to feel that your glutes are going to have to do the work to help lift. You have to have a nice, strong core. So don't forget about that. Keep it nice and engaged, really kicking that heel up and then back. Okay. We're going to do a few more. If you are feeling super strong, you can curl back both toes, lift both knees, and then just do it like this. Now, is that hardcore extreme? Yes, it can be. I'm showing you the option just one time because it is intense. All right, let's do two more. So we're doing 10 essentially on each side. Really lifting up, come back. One more and then release. All right, level out. Come back, give the hands a break for a second. Shake them out. I know you might be feeling it, okay? Yep. Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to do the other side. All right, so giving us that nice solid base. Remember, wrists and shoulders, hips and knees, feet are relaxed. Okay, engage the core, curl back the left toes, activating the legs, keeping that 90 degrees, lift up, so lifting it up. Really lift that heel towards the sky and release. Moving nice and slow. Okay, and as we're here, you're going to feel your weight shift to the right, but we want to try and keep it level. That's going to make us use our abs and our glutes just a little bit more. All right, after this one, we're halfway there. All right, breathing deep. Remember to breathe. The moment our breath stops, the moment our body works even harder. Ready? Three more. Almost there. This is a big push. All right, we're doing our back. We're doing our glutes. Last one, really lift, lift, lift. Release and come back to child's pose. Now hips and knees are in alignment. You can relax the head. You can have your knees out to the edge of the mat and the big toes touch. Personal preference. Release the arms, most importantly. So either stack the fists one on top of each other so the forehead has a place to rest if it doesn't touch the ground, or bring those arms next to the body so your palms end up by your feet and they're facing the sky. Maybe you take a moment and you stretch out the hands a little bit and release them, or you just fully let everything relax. Remember, we're trying to shoot our hips towards our heels, but we always want to listen to our body. Try to relax a little bit more. A couple more breaths here. Try to release, relax into it. And then we'll slowly come back. So we'll slowly bring the hands to the front. We'll push up nice and high. We're going to come onto our knees and we're going to push our hips the other direction. So we're going to stand up nice and tall. Hands to the hips, okay, wherever it feels comfortable. If a full wheel is in your practice or you have some blocks you want to use, feel free. Otherwise, just hands to the hips. Press the hips out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can drop the chin towards the chest. Or if it feels good, you can open up towards the sky. Remember to listen to your body that that focus is just on opening the front of our body here. And we're just going to take a few more breaths. And 
and release. All right, come back. We're going to switch it up today. We're going to work on some of the side abs. This one's going to be a bit of a challenge. It also works our arms as well. So take those blankets to the side or behind you. We're going to lay out nice and long on our mat. We're not going to do this for very long, but we are going to challenge ourselves. So laying out here, shoulder over the elbow. Lay out on the side of your body. Okay, nice and long to start. Then take... If I'm mirroring you, take your right leg, bend it underneath, and then stretch that left leg out long. We're only going to do this for three breaths, okay? So wherever you are, you're going to take those three breaths, and you're going to push through as hard as you can, knowing we're using our glutes and our abs here, and you're going to lift your hips up off the ground, okay? So we're trying to make one line with our mat. Very important. Press into that palm and elbow, and then lift the hips up off the ground. Reach that arm overhead, and I want you to take three very long breaths here. Reaching up, pushing up so you have one nice line. Really reach, reach, reach. One more nice deep breath here, and relax. If you want to hold it, go ahead. All right, we're going to take a breath for, or break for three breaths, and then we're going to come back up, okay? Remember, this is not just about our shoulders. This is our side obliques. This is our glutes, our thighs, everything. All right. Nice big breath. Come up. Remember to push out of the shoulder, push out of that lower knee. And if you can, press that top foot into the mat. You're almost there. One more breath and release. All right. Come back. Sit up. Shake it out. Okay, release the arms. I know the shoulders feel it. Maybe you shake them out. Okay, we're going to go to the other side. I'm doing some new things, right? All right, nice and long, right? So really focus on being long first so that you can get your shoulder over your elbow. It's so important. All right, from here then, you're going to bend that leg. Bend it back 90 degrees. Take the top leg and put it over. Okay, so we're pressing into our knee and our forearm. All right, you ready? Three breaths coming up. Reach through those fingers. All right, if you think more about your hand reaching up, everything else will not feel as bad. Almost there, deep breaths. Really fill that belly. And on your next exhale, lower down. Remember, we're gonna take a break for three breaths, right? We're still feeling it. All right, ready? Coming up. Push up, try to make one line with your body. All the way through, push out of that knee, push out of that arm, reach with that top arm. Last one, Whew, relax down. All right, come back to center, shake it out, Whew, release the arms. Okay, we did all of our arm work for the day, we're done. All right, time to relax for a moment. Let's come and lay on our backs. So we're done with arms, we're not done with core yet, right? Nor hips, so take a moment. However you want to get there, if you want that extra challenge, nice and slow. Knees up towards the sky. Take a moment, okay? We just put in a lot of work. So however you can relax, be that hips, knees, and ankles in alignment or feet out to the edge and knees into the center. Lift the hips maybe and let that lower back hang flat. I want you to fully relax for a few breaths, okay? There is nothing going on here except you letting your upper body relax onto the floor, be that with your palms up towards the sky, hands on the belly, whatever it is that will allow your shoulders, your neck, your arms to relax 100%. Take a moment while we lay here and check in with your breath. How does it compare? to when we first started class it might feel a little bit different let's try to lengthen it out a little bit if that's possible a few more breaths here I want you to relax fully all right because we're going to do some ab work next and that's going to require the strength and the attention to our breath all right so as we enter into the next section, we're going to focus in on our breath and we're really going to engage the core. Now we have the option of just bringing the arms down the side of our body and we bring them 
so that our hands are close to our hips and we press into the palms and shoulders. Now, the other option is we can bring the hands underneath the hips. We bring the thumb and the pointer finger together to make a triangle underneath our hips. And that allows our lower back to get very close to the mat and helps stabilize our core. Every day is different. We just want to listen to our bodies. We're going to bring our hips, knees, and ankles in alignment here first. Make a nice center for yourself. We're going to do two exercises. The first one being the half bicycle. So we're going to lift our knees up like we were on that tabletop position, okay? So 90 degrees if possible, okay? Knees and over hips here. So same thing. And again, we can have those hands underneath the hips to help with stability. Now we're going to take one leg and we're going to stretch it out nice and long like we're bicycling and then bring it back to center. All right. So we're keeping one leg bent and we bicycle the other leg. Now, if you're feeling really strong and you want to do both legs and at the same time, nice and slow, feel free. Okay. But I want you to really focus in on the core. So. We want to have nice, strong abs, focusing in on the lower abs here. Whatever feels good. Remember, this half a bicycle is a lot of work. So check in with your breath. Check in with your lower back. Is it on the mat? So by keeping our lower back on the mat, we're engaging our core even more. So nice, slow movement. Reaching out and back. You're going to start feeling that burn here. It's coming in hot. All right. We're really using these muscles. We're going to do two more sets. One side and then the other is a set. Or four circles if you're doing full bicycle. All right. Last one. Knees to chest. Hug it in nice and tight. Stretch out that lower back. And then lengthen out the legs for a moment. Stretch through the toes. If you want, reach the arms overhead. Find that length in the front of the body, giving those abs a nice break here. Nice stretch. And then release. Relax that upper body. And we're going to bring those knees back up for a moment. You're going to check in with that alignment, hips, knees, and ankles. It's oh so important, especially in this next one, okay? So we have two options here. The first one being we're just going to extend that right leg out, and we're just going to lift that heel towards the sky and then slowly lower back down. The other option is you can bring your hands behind your head for a nice crunch. Remember, we're supporting our head. We're not pulling on our head. So we're going to lift the leg up, and this is where it gets kind of tricky. You're going to crunch as you lower down, which uses different muscles than as we lift. So as we lift, we lower. And as we lower our leg, we crunch. So we're using our upper and lower abs together. And again, you can just lower the leg. Remember, if you feel any tension whatsoever in the neck, I want you to fully relax that upper body. And we're just engaging our core here in a new way while kind of challenging our brain if, while lowering the leg and crunching. It's a different kind of movement. All right, two more. Always shooting for that 10, right? Nice and slow. Last one, crunch and lower down. And then release the head, relax the leg. Take that left arm, leg out to meet it, arms overhead for a moment, stretch through the abs. We're starting to really feel it burning. Remember, that's progress. That's the, all that hard work you're putting in that's making a difference right now. All right, release everything, bring those knees back up, and we have one more side to do, our last bit of ab work for the day. So pushing through, putting in your best right here, right now. Hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. Again, two options, extend that left leg out and just lift it up and lower down. 
All right, your choice, or if you'd like, bring those hands behind the head. Again, supporting the head, not pulling on it. Lift that leg up nice and high. And as you lower down, we'll crunch into the abs. Lifting that leg up, relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Lower down and then crunch. Remember to breathe. So inhale up, exhale, and crunch giving us something to focus on with our breath. We are halfway there with this one. So close. Remember, we're not pulling on the neck. We're just supporting the head with the arms. Almost there. Giving it your all, knowing this is our last push for our abs here. We have three left. This is two as we lower down. All right, lift up one more time. Last one. Crunching into the abs, lower that leg down, and then release. Release every inch of the body. Stretch that right leg out to meet it. Reach the arms overhead. Finding length through the center body here. We're going to take a moment to relax. So. Bringing those knees back up for a moment. We're going to butterfly the legs out. So bring the base of your feet together and let your knees hang out to the side. How close your hips are, your heels are to your hips is up to you. And we can have our hands on our belly. We can have our palms up to the sky. Or we can even mirror the leg position with the arms. It's going to be completely up to you. Whatever feels good for your body. Remember, we want to take a moment to rest. We're using this moment of rest to allow gravity to do the work for us by pulling our legs closer to the ground, letting our hips open, and we're just going to breathe all the way down through the belly. Remembering that if our mind is wandering, we can always place one hand on the heart and one on the belly and just feel that gentle rise and fall of the abdomen as we inhale and exhale fully. Nice big breaths here, just enjoying the moment. Maybe you play around with how close your hips and your heels are together, drawing those feet in or letting them hang a little bit further away. It's going to change the sensation you're feeling as your hips start opening a little bit more with each breath. Remember, we might start to feel a tingling sensation, but we never want to feel pain. So if we ever feel any sort of pain release, draw those feet away, knees together and coming back. Two more breaths here, fully relaxing. And then we'll come back up. So release the arms. We'll draw those knees back up. And then pull them into the chest, nice and tight. Really hug and squeeze them in, lengthening out your lower back. And release. Let those feet hit the floor. And we'll do a couple of variations of hip openers here. We'll start with those figure fours. So hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. Stretch that right leg out nice and long, reach it up really tall, and then bring the ankle across the left knee. We're going to think about drawing our right knee towards the front of our mat, and we're going to keep both of our hips nice and level on the mat. So here, we can lift our leg up, but I really want you to keep that focus on the hips. So we're opening up the front of the hips here, but we can draw the left knee towards our chest, and then reach behind the knee, or we can take a strap behind the knee as well. We're going to try and keep our leg parallel to the ground. If you have the flexibility, you can reach that heel up towards the sky with a nice straight leg. If you are here, I really want to challenge you to check in with your hips. Are they both on the mat, nice and even pressure? If not, come back, bring that leg 90 degrees. 
each variation offers something different and each practice you might want to move in a different way. So listening to your body, we want to focus in hips level, bring that right knee closer to the front of your mat. And no matter where you are, head, neck, and shoulders are completely relaxed. Two more breaths here, pressing in just a little bit more, bending that left leg so that we can bring the foot to the ground. Extend the right leg out nice and long, reach through the toes, and then bring that knee back up. Moving into the other side, we'll stretch that left leg out nice and long, reach it up overhead, ankle comes across to the right knee. Draw the left knee towards the front of your mat. So we're pushing down, keeping those hips nice and level. Again, upper body's fully relaxed, hands are in whatever position feels good. Or if you'd like lifting that right foot up off the ground, drawing the knee towards your chest, hands come behind trying to keep that right shin parallel to the ground, or if you have the flexibility, heel goes up towards the sky. No matter where you are, hips are level on the mat and we're breathing all the way down through the belly. Nice deep breaths here. Maybe you play around and you change which position you're in and you notice how that changes the stretch. You might feel a little bit around the outside of the glute here. You might feel it in the inside of the hips. It really depends on the day, depends on the position you choose. Take two more breaths here. And then bend that right leg, release the arms, let the foot hit the ground. Left leg extends up and out, let it hit the ground. Right leg's gonna reach out to meet it. And again, if you'd like, extend the arms overhead. Reaching from the fingers to the toes here. All right, let's do a little bit more with our hips here. So making sure we have a nice alignment, nice length in our body. We're going to bring our right knee up towards our chest. So keeping that left leg extended long, bring the right knee up. Use the hands to pull the knee towards the chest. Really hug it in nice and tight. Remember, we're trying to keep both hips level on the mat here. We're going to release that left arm in a moment, and we're just going to use the right arm to pull up and open to the side. But first, really feel this feeling of pulling towards your chest. That's the key. Now, as you release that left arm, keep the right arm pulling towards the chest. Tuck the elbow in towards the thigh and let the leg hang open to the right. So we're letting gravity help with this work, but we're using the arm to pull the leg up towards the chest. Both feet are completely relaxed, as is the upper body here. Just letting it hang open to the side. Remember to breathe into it, okay? Using the arms to stretch the legs, but trying to find relaxation within the pose. All right, coming back to center, pull the knee into the chest, really hug it in tight, and then switch hands. So left hand's pulling the knee up and then across about 45 degrees. So we're trying to keep our hips close to the mat. We're going for a stretch around the outside of the hip into the glute here. We're just going to hold it for a moment more. Really press that right hip closer towards the mat if you can. It's going to help with that stretch and then come back to center. Pull the knee in towards the chest, really hug it in nice and tight here for one more breath, and then we'll release. Stretch out that leg. Realign your position, and we're gonna move into the other leg. So this time, left knee comes up. Draw it in towards the chest, really hug it in tight. We wanna find this feeling of stretching as both hips are completely solid on the mat. Nice and tight with both arms. You feel the abdomen expand into the thigh with each inhale. Now releasing that right arm, we're just going to use that left arm to pull up and over to the left. Remember, we're going to tuck that elbow in and then let gravity help do the work. We're just using the arm to pull the knee as high to the chest as possible to give us that opening of our hips here. 
Remember, head, neck, and shoulders completely relaxed as are both feet, no tension in the body. The only thing we're doing is using that arm to pull our knee as high as possible towards our chest. One more breath. And then coming back to center, hug it in nice and tight, really pull it in. Now from here, release the left arm. We're going to use that right hand to pull the knee to the chest. And then across 45 degrees with that leg to the right side. So again, trying to keep that left hip relatively close to the mat. That's the key here. So the closer we have it to the mat and the higher we pull towards our chest, then we're going to feel that nice stretch around the outside of the hip. Some people might feel it on the inside too, or either or. So just trying to take one more breath here, finding a good stretch, and then back to center. Knee to chest. This time we're going to bring that right knee up to meet it. Really hug them in tight. Now you can stay here or if you'd like to insert a happy baby pose, feel free. If you have a belt or strap, this is a great opportunity to bring it around the feet and then grab with the hands. Or you can bring the arms to the inside of the knees, hands to the outside of the feet, and then heels to sky. Remember with this pose, we're using the arms to pull on the feet so that the knees come closer to the chest. We're trying to keep our back close to the mat and we're relaxing our upper body as much as possible. All right, this one might feel a little bit awkward when we first get started. Again, using a strap and keeping the arms on the outside to help pull down is very helpful. Two more breaths here. So maybe you want to rock or maybe you straighten your legs if that's in your practice. And then we'll release and draw those knees in towards the chest, hug them in tight. And then the feet hit the floor. We're going to do one small bridge and then come into our twist. So bringing those hands down the side of the body, we're going to push our hips up towards the sky. So hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. Arms close to the body, hands next to the hips, or fingertips might brush the back of your heels. Press those hips up towards the sky. Stretch them out the other way for a moment. Remember, our chin is lifted up towards the sky. We're just focusing on opening those hips the other way for a moment, squeezing the glutes to lift a little bit higher. One more breath, and then release. All right, our final twist here. We always like to end class with a nice final twist. So hands in whatever position is comfortable. Be that out like a letter T with the palms pressing into the mat or elbows bent, palms up towards the sky like a cactus or field goal pose. Entering into your favorite twist or join me in lifting your hips, moving them to one side. Knees to chest and then the knees go to the opposite side. Trying to stack our hips here, letting our shoulder peel off the mat if that helps in that vertical stack of our hips, giving us a little bit more twist in that middle and lower back here. If you'd like that upper body twist, you can turn and look to the opposite direction. Remember the point of this twist is to relax fully into it. So we're fully letting gravity do the work here and we're just getting a chance to breathe and relax into it. Check in on those hips, try to stack them as much as possible. And then we're gonna release and we're gonna come to the other side. So we're gonna move nice and slow. If you want, taking a moment to draw the knees into the chest, Centering out the spine or just lifting the hips, moving them to the other side, knees to chest, and then across to the opposite side. Again, letting that shoulder peel up off the mat so we can stack those hips as much vertically as possible. It might feel good to do the arms in one direction or the other. Feel and listen to your body. Couple more breaths here. Again, you can turn and look the opposite direction, completing that full spinal twist, or just have the head in a neutral position. Two more breaths. 
Try to release any tension you might feel. And then we'll release, come back to center. This time everyone's gonna pull those knees in towards the chest, nice and tight. Find that length in the spine. Nice, straight spine. And we're gonna stretch out the arms and legs. Coming into our final resting pose. Remember that this is so important in our practice. We just open up our bodies in new ways. Let's spend a few moments letting that blood and energy reabsorb into the body, finding its homes. Closing the eyes, have some space between the arms, palms up to the sky, feet dangle to the side. We let our breath return to its natural rhythm. We know we carved this time out for our practice today so we can enjoy every moment, relaxing the space between the eyes, the jaw, the neck, and the shoulders, as the limbs feel heavy into the earth. Always remembering it's natural for your mind to wander, so we can always place one hand on the belly and one on the heart. Keeping our focus on our breath. We're just focusing on letting the thoughts go so we don't dwell on them. We know that our brain is always moving and thinking and we just want to create space. So we let that thought pass and we enjoy that emptiness between thoughts. Eventually that space grows. We have less thoughts and more meditation. And meditation is just focus. It's just stopping the chatter to be here now, just like we've been in this whole class or practice today. Enjoy a few more breaths here. Maybe you let a smile wash over. Enjoying this moment of rest after all the hard work you put in during class today. We always start by wiggling our fingers and our toes. We roll our wrists and our ankles. Maybe we tilt our legs from side to side, noticing how that changes our hips and our lower back. I invite you to lift the arms overhead like it's first thing in the morning, reaching from the fingers to the toes. Nice big stretch of the body. And then we lift the knees, letting the feet hit the ground so we can lift the hips and move them to one side. Rolling over nice and slow. We can take a breath or two here on our side if that feels good. And eventually we'll all make our way to a seated position using that top arm to push up nice and slow. Taking a moment, rest the eyes and just take a couple of breaths here. Maybe you roll the shoulders a few times. And then letting a smile come across to carry you throughout your day. We'll inhale and lift those arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands come down in front of the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Great work. That was not an easy one today and you did it.